As things calm down, the patrons in the tavern start murmuring amongst themselves. A few of them leave in a hurry, while the others who stay behind whisper in hushed tones about a malevolent mage named Archibald and how there might be a connection between you guys and him. You see, folks, I'm so great they even think I'm connected to some powerful mage. Tremendous. You literally did nothing that entire fucking fight. That's because I didn't get a turn. If I did, you'd be eating your words right now. Great. Now we're going to be associated with chaos and destruction. Just what we needed. I am the embodiment of chaos. You're the embodiment of a piece of shit. Why the fuck are you so angry, dude? Do you have issues? I'll tell you what, Tronald. I'll stop being angry when I find where that fucking smell is coming from. Man, you really need to let that go. We've got bigger issues now. As a matter of fact, go fuck yourself. Who the fuck are you telling to go fuck themselves? You, you fucker. Fuck you, man. Yeah, fuck you, Rar. Fuck all of you. Whoa, we're regressing a little bit here, guys. Fuck, fuck you, Joe. you, Joe. Wow. All right, we all need to calm down and take things one step at a time. Agreed. Let's ask one of these peasants who this mage is. Who's got the best charisma? I walk over to one of the individuals who are whispering. Somebody stop him. Oh, my God. As you approach the closest table, you see a man and a woman sitting together. The woman is in her mid-30s with long, curly hair tied in a loose bun. She has sharp features with piercing green eyes. Her companion is a man who looks older and has a gruff appearance. The two stop what they were doing and turn to you as you approach. Who's this bald bastard you're whispering about? The woman seems to jump at your question. A look of fear emerges on her face as she responds. You mean Archibald? Look, I don't give a flying fuck whether he's called Archie or Bald. Oh my God. But you're going to tell me everything you know about him. Unless you want to end up like that fat bastard over there. Roll an intimidation check, Rar. Where's my modifier for that? Under charisma, dumbass. No, this is bollocks. It's saying my intimidation is minus two. Use your athletics modifier instead. What the fuck, Joe? To be fair, it makes sense for a strength-based character to use that instead of charisma. Yet he rewarded my natural 20 with zero damage. Well, why is a wizard trying to punch people? Look at those scrawny arms. You couldn't break a fucking egg. I broke your mother's bed last night. Fuck you, Tronald. That's exactly what she did. Joe, is PvP enabled? Not in the fucking starting area, my dudes. Oh my fucking god, can you just roll your intimidation check? That's a 13 plus 6. Nice. The woman's eyes open wider and her jaw begins to tremble as she responds, He... He was a powerful wielder of strange magic who terrorized us for weeks on end. Okay, I don't really care about that. He abducted the poorest of us and transformed them into his own undead vessels. Still don't care. Then he destroyed our food stocks in a bid to starve and humiliate us. I'll fucking kill him! So you were all giving me the stank eye because you thought we were with him? Yes, it's not unusual for him to send his goons instead of coming in person. You know, that just makes me not want to help you. You judgmental set of nasty, nasty people. Don't you think we should, though? I haven't finished yet, Saxeron. The all-powerful Tronald will help you with your necromancer issues for coin. What are you, a witcher? No, I'm a non-denominational Christian. How much would you need? All of it. Well, I'm sure we could all lump together and get you a reward. The guards don't really care about the ongoings of this side of town. You'll be paying for the best. We want 500 gold. Wow, that's really steep. I think we could gather around 100, but any more than that and we would be killing ourselves. That sounds like a you problem. 100 gold will be absolutely fine. Tell us, do you know whereabouts this mage is located? My little left nut, it'll be fine. I'm not risking my tushy for a measly 20 gold each. But I thought you was the strongest mage. I am. Yet you're scared of a little necromancer? You're trying to debate me. I just thought the all-powerful Tronald would jump at the opportunity to show his might. I know you're mocking me, but you're right. 100 gold? We accept. Thank you so much. We know he lives in the outskirts of town near the bog. Many brave townsfolk died to bring us this information. Did you just quote Return of the Jedi? I don't know what that is. All right, then. Does anyone need a rest before we leave? Well, I only have one rage left, so I wouldn't be opposed to it. Oh, poor Rar. He only has one rage left. Are you trying to start something? Because I will fuck you up. Guys, come on. No, I'm not having it Saxeron. The orange fucker jumps at every opportunity to snap at me. That's rich coming from you. Guys. Well, let's have a long rest, then, so we're fully prepared for the situation. I think that's for the best. I go over to the tavern keep and ask for a room. Approaching the tavern keep, you see that he is a stout, middle-aged man with a ruddy complexion and a thick, bushy mustache. He greets you and quotes a price of five silver pieces. Seriously, you're going to charge us when we just said we would deal with your problem? The man looks towards you, Tronald, and says, But you're charging us for dealing with the problem. That's fair. I'll pay for this one, guys. I hand over five silver pieces to the tavern keep. The man reaches under the counter and pulls out a large brass key, which he proceeds to hand over to you, Saxeron. Thanks. And he says, upstairs, second door on your left. Wait, we're all sharing the same room? Do you have a problem with that? Nope, no problem. That's what I thought. Wow, you're thinking? That's some serious character development. I'm going to enjoy watching you die. As you ascend the stairs and enter the small tavern bedroom, you notice a single bed and several bedrolls strewn across the floor. After choosing your spot, you settle in and shut your eyes, eventually drifting off into a peaceful slumber. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm sorry that buffoon ruined the sesh. Oh, fuck you. Hopefully he will have calmed down by the next one. He probably just needs a Snickers or something. Clown. But if he hasn't totally put you off, ring that subscribe button and hit that bell so you can watch Rar get what's coming to him. You said it the wrong way around, you muppet.